Off the coast of Nazi-occupied Norway, October 4, 1943. The United States Navy Task Force, led by the aircraft carrier USS Ranger, sailed westward following a raid on German shipping in the Norwegian Sea. Flying patrol above Ranger was 22-year-old Navy Lieutenant Junior Gray Dean Laird, known better by his nickname Diz. As he circled his F-4F Wildcat through the rain, he spotted a shadow in the distance, a German bomber, the Ju-88. Immediately, Diz and his section leader gave pursuit as the bomber banked south. The fighters let loose a volley of fire, leaving the bomber smoking. Circling back for a second run, Diz set his guns on the bomber's fuel tanks as the Ju-88 burst into a ball of fire. It was Diz Laird's first victory and the first German plane to be downed by the U.S. Navy during the war. En route back to Ranger, Laird downed a second German plane, sending it crashing into the sea. Circling around, Diz watched as three crewmen climbed from the wreckage, holding to the plane's fuselage. The defeated crew waved as Lieutenant J.G. Laird offered a salute, then turned for home. Growing up in rural California, Diz Laird planned on joining his older brother as a pilot in the Army Air Corps. One day, while watching a newsreel, he saw the story of a battleship at sea with a makeshift flight deck, planes launching into the sky. Certain there could be nothing more fun, he determined to join the Navy. By the time he'd earned his wings in August 1942, the aircraft carrier had replaced the battleships as the dominant force in naval warfare. November 25, 1944. Now aboard the carrier USS Bunker Hill in the Pacific Theater, Lieutenant Laird joined a flight of F-6F Hellcats on a fighter sweep over the Philippines. Passing over a dirt airstrip north of Manila, Diz looked down to find seven Japanese fighters preparing to take off. The Hellcats were met with anti-aircraft fire as they circled back to take on the Japanese fighters, Diz catching several holes in his plane. Diving from 8,000 feet, Diz fired his cannon into an enemy fighter as it burst into flames, then set his sights on another. The two pilots angled for position, each pressing for the advantage. Soon, with the fighter in his sights, Diz lowered his nose and let loose a burst as the plane flipped into a spin and smashed into the ground. Diz Laird continued flying missions across the Pacific Theater and was later awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. He shot down several more planes during his tour, earning himself the coveted title of Ace Pilot. In a career that spanned 30 years, Diz Laird would fly 175 missions, serve on 12 aircraft carriers, and fly in the Navy's first jet squadron, becoming the first pilot to land a jet on the deck of the USS Midway. In July of 2016, at the age of 95, Retired Commander Diz Laird strapped into the rear seat of a T-34C and took to the skies, marking the 100th aircraft type he'd flown in his career. More than 200 American naval aviators earned the title of ace pilot during the Second World War. One, Diz Laird, achieved victories over both German and Japanese planes. Called the quintessential fighter pilot, Diz Laird embodied the trademark swagger of the American fighter ace. Recalling of his service, it never entered my mind that I would get shot down. I thought I was too good. Indeed, he was. <laughs> <laughs>